The best things in life are the ones that are easy to pick up, but difficult to master. It can take hours to become an expert, but the satisfaction of reaching the pinnacle is the greatest task that a person can accomplish. Running a marathon, climbing a mountain, cooking, having a family, and, of course, Star Wars Angry Birds. <laughs> Few things have captured my imagination in the same way as the Star Wars universe. There's so many different properties within this universe that can transport a person into the fantastical world of Jedi vs. Sith, the Empire vs. the Rebellion, and good vs. evil. The Christmas special. Of course, if your family has a hearty appetite, I would suggest then that old popular holiday favorite, the Bantha Rump. Baby Yoda dolls. Star Wars adult diapers, so you can finally shit while watching Empire Strikes Back. The pod racing game for the Nintendo 64. The Han Solo dance. I'm on solo, I'm on solo, solo. Yeah, I'm feeling good tonight. Finally feeling free and it feels alright. And of course, the Phantom Menace. <laughs> All of these masterpieces are so important to the wider pop culture of our world that they should be placed into the upper tier in the Library of Congress for all future generations to watch enraptured. I truly believe that each of these items should be mandatory viewing for all of humanity and that would solve most of the world's problems such as world hunger, homelessness, and social depravity. Star Wars Angry Birds, the perfect continuation of this Star Wars reality. It takes the fantastic, incredibly deep plotline of the original Star Wars movies and translates it into the equally deep lore of Angry Birds. Each of the birds has taken on the persona, or Star Wars Zona, as I affectionately refer to them of one of the legendary, fantastical characters that we all know and love. The Red Bird becomes Luke Skywalker, equipped with a lightsaber to stab every evil pig that may cross his way. The Yellow Bird is Han Solo, the renegade smuggler turned heartthrob whose lasers blast away any enemies in his way. The Big Bird becomes Chewbacca, <laughs> I can't do Chewbacca, uh, who just breaks shit. The Blackbird becomes Obi-Wan Kenobi, master to Skywalker, using his strong connection to the Force to push blocks and kill anything in his way, just like the moon. The Pink Birds become Leia, the sister with that weird incest angle who can use something uh, to, like, p pick up shit. I don't know. I don't really know. This one doesn't really make too much sense, so d just don't think about it too much, okay? Oh, and the bluebirds become rebel pilots. Like that one dude who dies. No, I'm all right. oh, Lucky for you, each of your favorite Star Wars location shows. Showing how a game can take and add additional insight into an existing story. Tatooine with sand and stormtroopers. The Death Star with stormtroopers and Darth Vader. Hoth with more stormtroopers. Bespin that with stuff and stormtroopers. Boba Fett. Dagobah with Yoda and fake stormtroopers. These worlds are brought to life by the expert level design and the graphics. I was lucky enough to play this game on the Xbox One. Believe it or not, this was one of the launch titles for the console. I know what you're thinking. How could a game look this good 
when it came out seven years ago? I frankly cannot answer that question because I simply don't know. Rovio is on their next level shit when they develop this game. Because of how clean and simple the design of the game is, while still feeling like I'm actually in Star Wars, throwing birds at pig versions of stormtroopers. What a dream. That's exactly what I was expecting from next generation consoles. This game simply could not function on any other console because it really needs those extra teraflops from that processor or whatever. And no, this game isn't actually in 4K, but it certainly feels like it. Now that you truly understand the lore of the backstory of this game, we can get into the design. You probably are not familiar with the underground indie game Angry Birds. Well, believe it or not, this game is actually a spin-off of that game. In Angry Birds, you launch birds at shit. In this game, you launch Star Wars birds at shit. It's awesome. Your goal is to kill all the pigs with the fewest amount of birds. Some of the levels can be really intuitive, and other levels make you want to die. Sometimes the bird placement has to be so exact that it literally forces you to watch a guide on what to do. Luckily for me, I three-starred every level on the original Angry Birds when I was in high school because I had a study hall and I never had any homework. So I, of course, took like this like Admiral Akbar takes to traps. It's a trap! I had no trouble completing any of these levels. It was easy and no problem. And if you had trouble, you suck and you shouldn't play games ever again because you need to get good kid, you little noob. And also, I graduated at the top of my class from the Navy SEALs. And if you don't believe me, then I'll have my uncle delete your account because he works for Microsoft. Um, anyway, the controls are also really good because you press A to launch the bird, and that's just really intuitive. Some game companies Looking at you, Gearbox, you fucks. Would probably have made it some other button. But you can tell the developers really put the time in to figure out which button felt right. And I just really respect them for that. The music in this game, you guys. Fuck. Wow. I cannot believe that they hired this guy. His name's John Williams to do the score for this game. They must have paid him like a bunch of money because he got a full orchestra and everything. But it's well worth it. They got to get that guy to do something else like some movies or TV shows or like a commercial jingle because like it was really nice. That just shows you again like Rovio is really putting in the effort into their games for their fans. You know the hardcore fans like me and like you. This game even has multiplayer, so you can share the wealth and joy of Star Wars Angry Birds with your friends and family. I know that at the next Thanksgiving, I'm going to bring my Xbox and set it up and make my grandma play. And she will love it, because I will make her watch this video first. And if that doesn't convince her, then I don't know what will, grandma. I have literally nothing bad to say about this game it is the best game i've ever played and it's also the best star wars game and also the best movie and the best television show and the best thing ever created the cutscenes moved me to tears the gameplay made me poop my pants and I love everything about it. Move over the Bible. There's a new king in town, and his name is Star Wars Angry Birds. Bye.